At this very moment, your partner is experiencing a profound sense of longing for you. Their heart aches with the intensity of their feelings, and they find themselves constantly watching you, their eyes following your every move, their mind filled with thoughts of you. The depth of their emotions is such that they can't help but miss you terribly. It's as if a part of them is missing when you're not around, and they yearn for your presence, for the comfort and joy that being with you brings. They are filled with a sense of anticipation, a desire to seize the opportunity to be with you again. They are aware that moments are fleeting, and they don't want to let any chance slip away. They want to be there with you, to share in your joys and sorrows, to build memories that will last a lifetime. When they close their eyes and think about what fulfillment would look like, they often picture a future with you. They envision a life where you and they are together, building a family, creating a home filled with love and laughter. This vision is so vivid, so real, that it fills them with a sense of longing and anticipation. However, this longing is tinged with pain. It hurts them to live in their head, to constantly think about this future, this life that they want so desperately. They yearn for you, crave your presence, your touch, your voice. But you might be unavailable to them right now, and this unavailability only intensifies their craving. They want you, need you, so much that it's almost overwhelming. They understand that this relationship, this bond that they share with you, will take time to come together. They know that they need to learn to stabilize their energy, to hold space for you. They are willing to wait, to give this relationship the time it needs to grow and flourish. Your partner misses being in your presence. They love the sound of your soft voice, the way it soothes them, comforts them. They are drawn to your sensual personality, to the way you carry yourself, to the way you interact with the world around you. Lately, they find themselves thinking about you constantly. They can't help but marvel at how much you fit their ideal type, at how perfectly you complement them. Your partner is going through a whirlwind of emotions right now. They miss you, they long for you, they crave your presence. They are filled with a sense of anticipation, a desire to be with you again. They are willing to wait, to give this relationship the time it needs to grow. They love you, and they can't stop thinking about you. They see a future with you, a life filled with love and happiness. And even though this longing hurts, they wouldn't have it any other way. Because to them, you are worth it. You are worth the wait, the longing, the pain. You are worth everything. In an unexpected turn of events, you find yourself at the center of attention, attracting a multitude of admirers. This magnetic pull you exude is not lost on your significant other. They are keenly aware of the attraction you command and are cognizant of the power you hold. They observe the transformations you've undergone and acknowledge that you're venturing into uncharted territories. Your unique style and aura are unmistakable, and you carry yourself with a grace and elegance that is hard to ignore. Your energy, once confined, now feels liberated and free-flowing. The twin flame journey, which once seemed like a heavy burden, no longer weighs you down. You've learned to appreciate solitude and have found comfort in your own company. This newfound self-sufficiency is a testament to your growth and resilience. Many of you have experienced a metamorphosis, a shift in perspective and attitude that has left your significant other intrigued and attracted. The changes you've embraced have enhanced your appeal and assertiveness, but not in a domineering or negative way. Instead, it's a confident and empowering change that adds to your allure. Your significant other dreams of you, their subconscious filled with images and thoughts of you. They send you vital energy, a silent reminder not to give up on them. They plan to approach you with a stable offer, a testament to their commitment and dedication. You might also sense their presence telepathically as they attempt to connect with you. This connection is not just physical but transcends into the spiritual realm. 
signs and synchronicities of this connection are omnipresent, a constant reminder of the bond you share. You constantly appear in your significant other's search history, a clear indication of their interest and concern. They keep tabs on you, not out of possessiveness, but out of a desire to ensure that you're not bestowing your love on anyone else. They can sense that you've changed, that you're not the same person you once were. It's also possible that you've adopted a different style, a change that further adds to your charm and appeal. Your journey has been one of transformation and growth. You've learned to embrace change and have found strength in solitude. Your significant other recognizes these changes and is drawn to the new you. They dream of you, send you energy, and plan to approach you with a stable offer. They sense your change and are intrigued by your new style. Your story is a testament to the power of personal growth and the magnetic pull it can have on those around you. It's a reminder that change, while sometimes daunting, can lead to beautiful transformations and stronger connections. In an unexpected turn of events, I found myself retreating from the bond that was forming between us. The feelings I had for you were burgeoning at a pace that took me by surprise. It had been an incredibly long time since I had experienced such emotions for anyone. The intensity of these feelings was both exhilarating and terrifying. I felt compelled to share the extraordinary journey I was embarking on with my closest friends. I described to them the incredible experiences I was having with you, the profound conversations we were sharing, and the deep connection I felt. Their reactions, however, were not what I had anticipated. They cautioned me, advising me to slow down. They expressed concern that I was falling in love too quickly, and they warned me of the potential heartbreak that could ensue if I didn't temper my emotions. Under normal circumstances, I am not one to be swayed by the opinions of others. I have always prided myself on my ability to smile, nod, and continue to march to the beat of my own drum. But this time, their words resonated with me. The energy and vibe I was experiencing with you were unlike anything I had ever encountered. It was as if we were on a different frequency, one that no one else could tune into. The depth of the connection I felt with you was unparalleled. I had never been able to relate to anyone on such a profound level. It was as if our souls were in perfect alignment. I saw you for who you truly were, and you saw me in the same light. This mutual understanding and recognition were both beautiful and overwhelming. There were moments when I felt as though you could see right into the very depths of my soul. At times, it felt as though you saw too much, understood too much. I didn't always know how to react or respond. I felt exposed, vulnerable. It was a sensation I was not accustomed to, and it scared me. That's when I began to distance myself. It wasn't anything specific that you said or did that caused me to pull away. Rather, it was my own personal insecurities and fears that held me back. I was afraid that if you saw the broken pieces within me, if you understood the loneliness that sometimes consumed me, you would walk away. I was terrified of revealing my true self, of letting you see the raw, unfiltered version of me. In the end, it was my own personal hang-ups, triggers, and insecurities that stopped me from fully embracing the connection we had. I let my fear of being seen, of being truly known, get in the way of our relationship. I was afraid that if you saw how broken and lonely I was on the inside, you would walk away. And that fear, more than anything else, is what ultimately drove me to retreat from the connection we had. It's a decision that I continue to grapple with, a choice that I question every day. But for now, all I can do is hope that one day, I will find the courage to let someone in, to let them see the real me, broken pieces and all, 